What's up everyone? So today's video I'm going to go over five mid-size pickup trucks and which one I think is the best. If you enjoy this video make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of these videos or these types of videos make sure you leave that comment in the description below. Starting off with the 2016 Toyota Tacoma. There are so many different models and trim levels that you can go with. With a starting price around $24,000 all the way up to the TRD Pro. You can even get the two-door base with the four-wheel drive and V6 option unlike other trucks where you have to upgrade to the next model. If that's all you're looking for, you can get those two specific options even on the base. A manual or automatic is going to be available on any model that you'd like to go with, and the towing on this truck can get up to 6,800 pounds with a payload capacity of 1,600 pounds. So very competitive for its towing capabilities. Off-road options are going to include a rear locking diff for the TRD off-road. You're going to have upgraded suspension, and you can even opt for crawl control on the TRD off-road models if you're not looking to go all the way up to the TRD Pro. The TRD Pro obviously is going to give you even more upgraded suspension. You're going to have excellent departure and approach angles along with crawl control coming standard. The interiors on the new generation is completely upgraded from the previous generation. You have excellent leather. You're going to have your navigation and standard backup camera where the camera used to be in the rear view mirror on some previous generations. And then the exterior is going to be very bold and aggressive again compared to the previous generation. I think you really have to see this truck in person. Pictures just don't do it justice as far as the overall new design. I think it looks much better in person. The cons for the new generation Tacoma, the 2.7 liter four cylinder is fairly weak in power. It has 180 horsepower and 159 pound feet of torque. With that said, towing is still going to be about 3,500 pounds, which is respectable for that size engine. The rear seats in the Tacoma are pretty tight, but they are definitely upgraded from the previous generation. Owning a 2007, I can tell you that sitting in the back of the 2016, you definitely don't feel as upright, which is nice. They almost feel a little more reclined, so you're not just sitting straight up. And then foot room or leg room is about the same, so you're going to be a little bit more comfortable in the back seat. The next trucks up on the list are the 2016 Chevrolet Colorado and the GMC Canyon. Now these are going to be pretty much identical vehicles. You're not going to have as many options as far as what models to pick from. Starting around $20,000 for the base, you can go all the way up to the ZR2 package, which just came out. That's going to be the more rugged off-road truck that's competing against the TRD Pro. Four-wheel drive is also optional on the 2.5 liter four-cylinder, so competing with the four-cylinder in the Tacoma range. You also, though, however, get a diesel option, which I know is very popular. A lot of people wanted the diesel to come. That's actually going to cost you a bit more than the standard gasoline engine. Your off-road options are going to be offered on every model, like the Tacoma. You will have to opt for the ZR2 package, which just came out. That's going to give you everything, the upgraded Multimatic suspension, you're going to have better approach and departure angles, along with a front locking diff and a rear locking diff to give you that extra off road capability. Towing for this truck is anywhere between 5,400 and 6,200 pounds, and then for the GMC Canyon, it's actually up to 7,000 pounds with a payload capacity about 1,500. So, again, very respectable on the high end of the towing capabilities. Now, number three on the list is the Honda Ridgeline. This truck only comes with one option to work off of. It only comes in the four door with the short bed, starts around $29,000, and it comes standard with front wheel drive. All wheel drive is an option, however, and with the all wheel drive system, it can detect a lack of traction on any wheel at any point. And while this isn't going to be the best off roader, it will help you in certain situations very, for very mild off-roading conditions. You have excellent bed space in the Ridgeline. It is going to be the best out of any mid-sized truck. Not only do you have two options to open the rear gate, you can either fold it down like normal or swing it out from the side, but it also has a very large cargo space underneath the bed. You could fit a bunch of tools in there, a huge cooler, anything that you want. The rear gate also locks as well. That is offered on some of the other trucks also but this has probably the most versatile rear bed storage space that you could have in a truck. This is also going to be one of the best handling trucks out there simply because it is built off of the Honda Pilot frame. So it's not going to have as much body roll. It's gonna be very comfortable around town simply because it doesn't have that body on frame construction. It's more of a unibody, again, based on the Honda Pilot frame. With that being said, towing is not sacrificed that much. It can still tow up to 5,000 pounds, 
which is obviously not the highest on this list, but that's very respectable. Moving on to the cons for this truck, the rear seat space is tight, but I will say it's gonna be more comfortable than the rear seats in the Tacoma. They give you a lot more room. Again, it only comes in the full four doors, so if you don't need that much space, you're gonna to have to look elsewhere on this list of mid-sized trucks because that's the only option that is offered. It does, however, give you ample amount of space, being that it has the full four doors and then along with all of the bed space and the cargo space underneath the bed. So basically, if you just need bed space, you're looking for a comfortable ride, you might tow some things here and there, and you're not looking to go off-road, you like the look of how this truck looks, this is a great truck for those type of buyers. Next on the list is the Nissan Frontier. At the lowest starting price of 18,000, you have a very good entry-level truck. This will get you the four-cylinder engine with 152 horsepower, which is significantly less than the four-cylinder in the Tacoma. You have the base all the way up to the Pro 4X package. You can get a manual or automatic. Towing for this truck is gonna be 6,700 pounds, which is on the higher end of the list. And cons for this truck, what I've found is that the steering can be very heavy, and it is on the lower end of the list for body roll. So it's going to have a lot of body roll and just not handle as well as the other competitors. Last up is a truck that we actually don't have here in the United States, and that is the Ford Ranger. Ford discontinued the Ranger in 2011. They brought it back in 2015 as a foreign spec, again, not in the United States, but they are planning to bring it back as a 2019 year model. From what I've read up on this, it's possibly going to be around the $20,000 mark. It's gonna to tow up to 6,000 pounds. We'll offer a six foot or seven foot bed. That's very interesting because no other truck competitor offers a seven foot bed in the midsize class. It's either the five foot or the six foot. So it'd be interesting to see with the Ranger offering the seven foot bed, how popular that size bed will be. You can get a manual or automatic, and then three cabin sizes will be offered as well. And I'm not sure on the engine options for this truck yet, but I would assume that a diesel would be coming over to the States along with the gasoline engine as well. And then the cons for the Ford Ranger, well, since we don't have it here in the States yet, I can't really talk about anything on it. So it will be interesting to see once it comes to the States, how it'll stack up against the competition. So in conclusion, I think that the Tacoma, the Colorado, and the Canyon are at the top of the list if you're looking for a truck that can do everything, that can tow, go off-road, gives you multiple cab sizes along with the bed size options, and a whole bunch of interior features. The Ridgeline, again, is for someone who's looking for that bed space, they're looking for a comfortable ride, they're not really gonna go off-road that much. The Frontier does have an off-road option and great towing, and then the Ford Ranger would be a great competitor to add to the mid-size truck lineup. I hope you all enjoyed that video. Be sure to let me know in the comment section below which truck you think is the best in this lineup. And if you own one of these trucks, let me know your ownership experience with how it's been for normal daily use and if you take it off-road. Personally, for me, I do like the Tacoma simply because I have owned one in the past. The Colorado ZR2, which I got to check out a couple months ago, is an awesome competitor to the TRD Pro, so I do really like that truck. The Ridgeline, is, it's a cool concept having that bed storage underneath, uh, but simply as an off-roader, it just doesn't have the capabilities. I've never driven the Frontier, so I don't have much to say on that. And then the Ford Ranger will definitely be cool to see coming to the US. So again, hope you all enjoyed that video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, make sure you click on that subscribe button so you can stay tuned for more content on the way. I'll see you all next video.